Martin Morning. Every morning when you open your eyes. Martin Morning. You're always in for a big surprise. You might be a dragon with a tail. With a tail? A witch. Or a caveman hunting down a trail. Bobo is your friend and biggest fan. We're going to have fun. Your favorite girlfriend is Roxanne. You sure make a great dragon. Play some football? Wow, what happened? Did you guys get stuck in a photocopy machine? Very funny. Oh, sorry. Uh, so uh, which one of you three is Martin for real? I am. Huh? What? It's me, but uh, uh, listen to that. He can't even talk straight. Don't pay any attention to him. I'm the real Martin. Come now, my friends. Let's be civilized. The day was getting off to such a lovely start. Let's have some fun. Hmm. Oh, no. I can't take this. Mmm, it's you. You're my very best friend. Only the real Martin wouldn't know what to say. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? What, what about, about us? us? Uh, well, you're a lot like Martin, but a little different. You, the tough guy in the red hat, you'll be Red Martin. What'd you call me? You looking for a fight? Uh, <laughs> it's just a manner of speaking. And you, the nice guy in the blue hat, will be Blue Martin. All right. So, Martin, are you still going to invite Roxanne to go to the movies with you today? Oh, uh, I, I, I'm not sure. It's just, oh, I feel too mm. shy. I'm not sure. Oh, come on. Girls are a drag. Playing soccer is much more fun. Oh, don't listen to him. Movies are so romantic. Ah, Roxanne, I'd love to invite you. Well, what are you waiting for? Go on, ask her, and then meet us over in the park. Okay, see you later. Go! Ha! Ha! Over here! Hey, throw it over here! Over here! <laughs> here! Oh, hi! What's up, Martin? Uh, well, uh, what's up? Well, Roxanne, I, um, uh... What? You want to tell me something? Uh, well, I was wondering if, uh, I was wondering if I could possibly borrow your math notebook. My math notebook? Well, sure, just a minute. Oh, no. What do you mean, her math notebook? I don't know what came over me. When I saw Roxanne, I just got tongue-tied. Oh. I'm more shy than I thought. <gasps> She's there! Well, that's oh. perfect. So go and ask her now. Well, why don't you go and do it if you're so smart? I'll invite her if you want me to. She's so charming. Oh, stop talking about girls and let's go play some football. Quick, come here. I don't want Roxanne to see us. Whoa. Uh, what's going on? Get down. Ow. Hello, Roxanne. How are you? My name's Benjamin. Oh, hello, Benjamin. But do I know you? Well, I know you. That is, I saw you once before, when I was with my cousin, Adrian. He's in your class, and huh. he told me you were a great girl. But seeing you up close, I'd say incredible is more like it. <laughs> you wouldn't be trying to flatter me by any chance. So, you're Adrian's cousin, huh? Yeah, well, speaking of which, uh, he got sick, and we were supposed to go to the circus together today, so when I saw you, I got a great idea. Since I have an extra ticket, why don't you come with me this afternoon? Oh, do say yes. You wouldn't want to make me sit next to an empty chair, would you? Oh, all right, why not? Great. So I'll meet you at 2 o'clock in front of my place, 38 Briar Street. See you later. See you later. <laughs> oh, wow, what a ladies' man. Hey, hey, where, where are you going? 
to study math. That's about all I can do now. How sad. It could have been so beautiful, but now there's no hope. Well, are we gonna play ball or what? Hey, Martin, Martin, don't give up. That Benjamin doesn't seem like such a bad guy. Just go catch up with him and, and explain the situation. You think? Sure. Go on. Benjamin, wait! Say, uh, my name's Martin. Well, uh, you see, you invited Roxanne to the circus, but in fact, she was supposed to go to the movies with me. Well, too bad for you. She'd obviously rather spend the afternoon with me. Well, hey, couldn't you just be a nice guy and invite Roxanne some other time? What did you say? Listen, shrimp, I'm not a nice guy. Have you got that? Now get out. If I run into you again, you'll wish I hadn't. Now beat it. Oh, brother. Okay, get ready to receive a pass. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, beautiful. Nice shot. It's a shame it was out of bounds. Out of bounds? What do you mean, Gromo? That was a goal, wasn't it? Mm, he's right. It was out of bounds. It was not. It was a goal. Calm down, gentlemen. It's only a game. Besides, you're already ahead by four points. Uh-huh. It was oh. still a perfect oh. goal, you pipsqueak. Oh! Now. Uh, oh. Mm. Uh, oh! Let go, let go! Hey, you guys, stop Ow. fighting! Ow. 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 He started, started it! Ah, oh, come on, you guys. Cut it out. So, how'd it go with Benjamin? Not too good. He's really mean. He almost beat me up. Oh. Guess I'll have to spend my afternoon with obtuse triangles. Hey, wait a minute. I got an idea. You can solve this problem by using your doubles. First, oh. send your mean Martin over to Benjamin's to threaten him and stop him from going to the circus with Roxanne, and then send the sweet one over to Roxanne's to invite her to the movies, and you'll be in like Flint. Great idea. I wonder why I didn't think of that sooner. Because I'm the brains of this outfit. <laughs> Listen, you guys, I have an important mission for you to accomplish. You go to that bully Benjamin's and make sure he doesn't go to the circus. And you go to Roxanne's and invite her to the movies. Martin, are you already bringing back my math notebook? No, not math. Oh, right, that's it. I'm inviting you to the movies. So, are you coming? Let's go. Oh, hey, don't pull me. Let go. Thanks, but I really can't. I've been invited to the circus. Oh, boy, that's gross for you. So now what? I'm supposed to beg you? Honestly, Martin, I promised. Well, too bad for you, then. Besides, I'd much rather play ball with my friends than go and see a lousy movie with you any day. <gasps> Hello there. I'm sorry to disturb you, but might you have just a moment to have a chat with me? You again? Have you got rocks in your head or what, huh? I never would have thought that Martin could act like such a complete bully. I know, it's bizarre. He never acts mean. I wonder if this is all about the weird... Uh... Uh, strange. You mean the weird things that always happen to him? Yes. If I were you, I'd pay him a visit and find out for sure. You're right, Naomi. I will. Aw, uh, oh, come on, Martin. Don't worry. Everything probably went just fine. I really hate girls. That stupid Roxanne went and broke my nose. Same here. Benjamin is not a gentleman. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, a small mistake in identity, but this can be fixed. Just switch their hats back and no problem. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Roxanne. Martin Morning, I'm not leaving until you explain why you were so weird when you came over earlier. Hey, you guys, come on out. One, two, three. Are you the you the Martin that came and asked me to the movies? Yeah, and you slammed the door and practically broke my nose. Well, hey, Martin, the next time you want to invite me to the movies, do it you're yourself. Oh. I can fix this, Martin. I got an idea. Oh, oh no. no. Huh? We're, We're sick, sick of your 
ideas. ideas. I think I'll have to handle the situation by myself. Yoo-hoo, Roxanne, can I talk to you? Who are you? The real Martin? The original? Or one of his doubles? Oh, uh, well, the thing is... Uh, All right, it must be you. Only the real Martin would stammer like that. You're right, I... Saw you're back again! You just don't get it, do you? How dare you hang around my house? I don't believe this! Hit the road, disappear, go on, get out! Sorry, but no. Oh, really? You challenging me? Yes, I am, and I would prefer it if you would not speak to me in that nasty tone of voice. Oh, you're gonna no. regret that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh. yeah! Oh! Yeah! Ah, my hand! Yeah! Ha -ha. Benjamin, uh. I have uh. two things to say to you. Uh. One, I love the circus, but two, I detest people who are violent like you. Bully, goodbye. Ah! Uh. 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 Roxanne, wait! <sighs> uh, I'm really sorry about all this. It was so stupid of me, but... Well, when you're not mad anymore, maybe we could go to the movies? Would you like that? Well, there's one that starts at 2.30 that we could go and see. <laughs> Come on! Yuck! I never saw a lousier movie in my life. Not me. I love romantic stories, especially ones with a happy ending.